As the Lord spoken only through Moses, they asked. Hasn't he also spoken to us? And the Lord heard it. Now Moses was very humble man. And more humble than anyone else in the face of the earth. At once the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Miriam, Come out of the tent of the meeting, all three of you. So the three of them came out, then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud. He stood at the entrance of the tent, and summoned Aaron and Miriam, with <coughs> both of them stepped forward, he said, Listen to my words. When a prophet of the Lord is among you, I reveal myself to him in a vision. I speak to him in dreams, but this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. In him I speak face to face, clearly, not in riddles. This is the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? When the anger of the Lord burned against them and he left, when the cloud lifted up, Above, above the tent, there stood Miriam, leprous like snow. Aaron turned forward, and he saw that she had leprosy, and she said to Moses, Please, my Lord, do not hold against us the sin we have supposedly committed. Do not let her be like a stillborn infant coming from his mother's womb, with his flesh half eaten away. So Moses cried out to the Lord, O oh God, please heal her. May the Lord bless his word. Now, gusto ko maintindahan natin ang isa ay ngayon sa araw na sabihin in, in connection doon sa tinuro ni Pastor Rolly. Ang message ko sa atin ay is about opposition. It's about murmuring. Hello? Sa unang verse pa lang, sa verse, sa numbers 11-12-1, sabi niya, Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his two-shied wife. Minsan, hindi lang minsan malimit, marami tayong because marami tayong we talk back against our leaders. We talk back against Moses. The Moses is being led by us the Lord to lead the Israelites, pero nung nakalabas na sila sa Egypt, Egypt marami na silang sinasabi sa leader. Hello? Ang unang nag-complain against Moses, yung mga malapit sa kanya. Yung kapatid niya, mga kamag-anak niya. Dalawang kapatid niya, na they talk against Moses because of his two-shied wife. Marami tayong complain sa mga leaders natin. Marami tayong mga murmuring. And we don't know, hindi natin alam na ang murmuring is a sin. Hello? Murmuring is a sin. Tingnan nyo doon, when Miriam and, and Aaron murmur against Moses, nagalito ang Panginoon. Kung titingnan nyo sa verse, Verse 8, sabi niya, Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, Why then were you not afraid to speak against your pastor? Marami tayong sinasabi sa pastor natin, sa leaders natin, mga elders natin. Masyado tayong mariklamo. Hello? Kung maintindihan nun natin, bago ho, bago ho si, si Moses, pinan, pinadala ng Lord doon, matagal siyang minold ang sinrasis ng Panginoon sa disyerto. Pinilit ni Moses na patakbuhin ang buong kongregasyon Millions of people na siya lang ang mag -lilit. Kung makikita nyo, he was being rebuked by his father-in-law, Jethro, dun sa Exodus chapter 18. Sabi niya, you and these people who come to you will only wear yourself out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. 
Si pastor na nagigitara, si pastor na nagsusonglit, si pastor na nagpiyano, si pastor na lahat. Ang sabi ni Jetro, hindi maganda yung ginagawa mo Moses. Mag-appoint ka ng mga leaders. Kaya ang ginawa ni Moses, he appointed elders of the church. Kaya may mga elders sa church ngayon. But what happened, yung mga inappoint ni Moses na elders, kung titingnan natin sa sa Numbers chapter 16 sundan nyo ako Korah, son of Ishar, the son of Kota, the son of Levi, and certain Reubenites, Dathan and Abiram, sons of Elishab, and sons of Peli, became ice insolent and they rose against Moses. With them were 250 Israelite men, well-known community leaders who had been appointed members of the council. Hello? Yung mga inappoint ni Moses, ikaw, ikaw maging chairman dyan, ikaw ang maging leader dyan, ikaw maging ano dyan. Mga nag oppose kay Moses. Hello? Sabi nila, they came as a group to oppose Moses and Aaron and said to them, You have gone too far. The whole community is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is with them. Why then do you set yourselves above the Lord's assembly? Sabi niya, Sumusobra ka na Moses? Sumusobra ka na pastor? Bakit mo kami irurul? Hindi sa lahat ng panahon, majority win. Hello? 250 men against one man, Moses. Nangusap po ang Panginoon sa kanila. Nagkaroon po ng challenge dito. Kung titingnan natin sa verse 10, sabi ni Moses, He has brought you and all your fellow Levites near himself. But now you are trying to get the priesthood too. Sabi, na, sabi ni Moses, In appoint kayo ng Lord, I was uh, ordained to appoint you to be leader of this ministry of certain groups, certain minis- music ministry, children ministry. But at then, bakit? Sabi niya, pinapakialaman niyo pa yung pagiging priest ng isang tao. Inappoint ka na maging chairman ng ushering, gusto mong maging pastor. Hello? Inappoint ka na maging chairman ng music, pilit mong magpastor. Sabi niya, hindi, hindi pa ba kayo nasisiyahan? Pinili kayo ng Diyos na mga Levites para tumulong sa pastor. Hello? We are the body of Christ. Maaaring ikaw ay kalingkingan, tinuturo, eto, pero may function yan. Mayroong ilong, may mata, masagwa kung ang mata ilagay dito. Mahirap lumakad. Ang, ang paa, ilagay sa kamay. Huwag niyong pilitin, ilagay ang, ang lugar niyo, ang, ang katayuan niyo sa isang posisyon na hindi kayo tinawag ng Diyos doon. Hello? Sikapin nyo saan kayo in-appoint ng Lord, in ng Lord because when you are being called to that position, the anointing is there. Pag pinilit nyo ang isang bagay na doon kay lumugar na hindi kayo in-appoint doon, magsasuffer kayo. Magsasuffer ang buong kongregasyon. Hello? So what is basically Moses telling, wag nyo nang pakiala mga Levites kayo, you are there to support your to support me as Moses. Sabi niya. Huwag niyo nang na, pinak... Tandaan niyo po, ang Diyos hindi nangusap sa mga elders. Hello? Hindi bumaba ang Diyos. Sabi niya, mga elders, sali kayo. Mayroon akong sasabihin sa inyo. Bumaba ang Diyos. Tinawag si Moses. Moses, sali ka. Ibaba mo to sa mga elders at sa mga tao. 